Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, I sound kind of loud. It's good to see everybody this morning. Everybody happy to be here? Man, are y'all ready? All right. Well, we're going to get ready. We're going to open up in prayer before we get started. And I just want to tell everybody, y'all look great this morning, and we're going to have a good time in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, once again, we're, we're just glad to be in your house this morning, Father, to gather together, to worship you, to honor you, to lift you up, Father, and to just give you all the praise that you're worthy of. In the name of Jesus, amen. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias a todos. Um, are you ready to worship the Lord? This day is a glorious day. Amen. Este día es un día maravilloso y glorioso. And we're going to start declaring these words. Uh, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Amen. Vamos a empezar a declarar estas palabras en este canto. Abre los ojos. Amen. 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 Let's sing. Quiero 
feliz Lavaste mi maldad Oh, ya feliz Ya feliz Jamás seré igual Por siempre me cambió Gracias, gracias Señor Pour our 
aliento en mi ser Te adoramos a ti, solo a ti es tu aliento en mi ser Te adoramos a ti, solo a ti es tu aliento en mi ser Te adoramos a ti, solo a ti
Coming. There we go. Uh, brother, thank you for that wonderful leading of the worship and the praise. To God be the glory as always. Everybody give him a big hand. Did an awesome job. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day the Lord had made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah. Let me get all my little props going on here so I don't mess up. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy is Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the message that you've given Brother King to bring to us today and share with us to light that fire up under us and get us revived and, and going full steam ahead. To all my Spanish-speaking friends, buenos dias. Hallelujah. Well, this is tithing offering time, as you know, uh, where we give unto the Lord. Uh, and we love to give. We can't outgive God. And this is how He blesses us, is through our giving, one of the ways that He blesses us. So, uh, without further ado, if I may direct your attention to Malachi 3 8. And you might see it on the board there. Okay, without further ado, will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithe and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your namesakes, or for your sake, sorry. Uh, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That is what I want to live under right there. Let me live under this, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the open heaven where you pour out the blessing that we can't receive it, and you rebuke the devourer for our name's sake. So, um, we have the offering basket right here. Please bring your tithe and offering forward, and we will pray over them and move on to the announcements. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this Memorial Day. I guess that's tomorrow. But anyhow, this Memorial Day weekend where we, mem where we are mindful of those who have fallen in battle uh, before us, who have made, contributed to making this country a great place to live. People want to be here. I guess a lot of everybody knows that. Uh, this isn't a place where people move away from. This is the place where people move to. Look at all the little angels right here. All right. Isn't that beautiful? Bring them on. Bring them on. That's our future right there. Hallelujah. Oh, look at that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the work that you are doing right here today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you and praise you. You came. Uh, all right, still got a few coming. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. We, we give, we, in the mighty name of Jesus, we offer this 
tithe and offering to you in Jesus' name for your glory, according to your word. We ask you to bless the givers according to your word. Open that window of heaven and pour out that blessing that there won't be room enough to receive. Rebuke the devourer for our name's sake. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you. Amen and amen. Uh, moving, moving right along here, I think, uh, let's see here, my phone done turned off. Um, I have another announcement before the announcements. Here it is. We will be picking up a special love offering for Pastor David King and his family after the preaching. So prepare your hearts to give um, when we take up that offering. Okay, now for the announcements. Got a lot of them here. Looks like the ladies have been at it again. We're going to... Okay, announcements. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you have these social media outlets, help us advertise uh, Vision Church of Lockhart every Sunday and Wednesday. Invite people. Comment on what's going on at Vision Church of Lockhart and put your own encouraging words out there. Hallelujah. Tell people. Spread the word. Let them know we're here. And we are waiting for them to come so that we can minister to them and bless them in Jesus' name. Everybody's got to go somewhere, Amen. as someone once said. That's kind of a joke between me and my wife. One of a, a pastor told us once, he said, well, they got to go somewhere. And I'm like, that's right. They got to go somewhere. Okay, visit us online at vclockart.com. Wednesday night Bible study. This is a good one, 7 p.m. Adult class, biblical worldview, foundational truths, uh, and a youth Bible study in the children's church. Uh, this has been really, really fruitful and very good. It's a lot of really, really, really good information. So I encourage you to attend. Um, Uh-oh, here's a good one. Saturday, June 11th, 930, ladies' breakfast meeting. Look out now. And, and here's another one. Saturday, June 18th, 930 a.m., men's meeting, breakfast meeting. Hallelujah. We love donuts and tacos, by the way. All right. Here's another good one. Save the date, Sunday, July 3rd, 2022. We will be having baptism, and that's water, correct? Okay, water baptism. We will have a sign-up sheet for anybody that is wanting to get baptized. Let Pastor Jesse or Sally know if you want to be baptized so that they can make preparations for that. That's awesome. Yes, looking forward to it. Okay, uh, Sunday English service, 9 a.m., Spanish service, 11 a.m., and I believe that concludes the announcements. Uh, now we have a short Memorial Day video.
Amen. We're going to have a great service. It's already been great. Amen. Amen. Feel the presence of the Lord. Uh, we're going to introduce our, our guest speaker, but right now we want to uh, love on Sister Riley, pastor's wife. Can somebody bring her in here? Get her? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. She can bring her baby. Amen. We love babies. We let them do whatever they want. Grand grandparents let them do whatever they want. <laughs> going to be a good, uh, good service today. Va a ser un servicio tremendo, esperando que vengan listos con un corazón listo para recibir. Amen. It's going to be a good service. I hope you guys bring a, open your heart and be ready to receive because uh, I know Pastor David is uh, a pastor on fire for the Lord. Amen. And this is going to be a good one. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, Miss Riley, pastor's wife, if you'll come up here, we wanted to uh, present you with a little gift. We want to love on you and, and welcome you. And this is Joanne. She's our um, women's ministry leader. And we just wanted to say thank you. I know it's, you do a lot. It's a hard job <laughs> being a pastor's wife, but we just wanted to welcome you. And, and love on you today. And everybody. Thank you. Es un honor para la Iglesia Visión recibir a los hermanos este día y honrar a la esposa del pastor. Amén. Que no es un trabajo muy fácil. Amén. Y gracias, Señor, por ella. Amén. And thank you, Sister Grace, for putting that together for us. She's our decorator and <laughs> our go-to when we need something special. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, uh, it is, we're celebrating also Memorial Day, so it's nice to, to think of all the people that died for us so that we have freedom. Freedom isn't free. It costs somebody something in those lives. Amen. And church, Amen. it's time to wake up. Amen, because there's some people out there that want to take our freedoms away. They want to close the churches, and we need to wake up and see what's going on in our world. Amen. Amen. Keep praying for America. Pray for the leaders and pray for this nation. Amen. And for all the missionaries and everybody that's out there uh, losing their lives and standing up for, for their freedoms. Amen. Right. Okay. Amen. Uh, Well, I think everybody understands what my wife said. Todos entendieron lo que dijo mi esposa, ¿verdad? Todos son mexicanos como yo, pero entendemos. Gloria a Dios. Amén. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> my wife, mi esposa va a introducir al pastor. Okay. Um, I'm just going to read a short little thing that I found on the internet. Amen. And I verified it, so it's the truth. <laughs> And Because you can't trust everything you read on the internet. Amen. <laughs> okay, Evangelist David King is the founder and president of Harvest Ministries International, which is located in Fort Worth, Texas. The primary focus of HMI is revival in the U.S. through television, and he's on Facebook, and Miracle Crusades. David has... Are we, you gonna translate? No, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> David has preached uh, the gospel in Grenada, Mexico, the Philippines, Burma, and the U.S., as well as funded the building of two churches in the Philippines. God is continuing to use David to minister salvation, healing, and freedom to the lost, hurting, and broken all over the world. Amen. And also, they're uh, starting a church in Fort Worth uh, called Revival City church <laughs> revival city I was not yes. saying, revival city so um you want to say anything else no. Go ahead. You say and he's been preaching since 1993 i believe he said so y'all are in for a, for a good service amen we ready Hallelujah. i know hear you guys estamos listos All right, give me a big applause to uh, Brother Dave. Un aplauso grande para el hermano Pastor. Y va a estar ministrando con ustedes. Aleluya. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios, brother. Hey, bless you, Pastor Jesus. Pastor Jesse, Pastor Jesus, Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. Well, how many of you glad to be here this morning? Say amen. 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 How many of you'd rather be here than the best hospital in town? Say amen. amen. How many of you'd rather be here than the best jail in town? Say amen. 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 I think that's about everybody. Hallelujah. Well, why don't you step, stand up on your feet for a few minutes? And uh, I'm going to come down there with you so I can just look you right in the eye. Voy a bajarme aquí para que puedo mirarte en los ojos, verte en los ojos. Yo hablo español más o menos. But I'm going to preach in, Sp I'm going to preach in English this morning. So hallelujah. Amen. Just lift your, lift your voice right now. We're going to praise God for a few minutes. Just give Him praise and put your eyes on Jesus as, as we enter into His presence. Lord, I thank You for Your presence here this morning. Hallelujah. We magnify You, Lord Jesus. We praise You this morning. We lift You high here in this place. I thank You, Lord Jesus. You are great and You are mighty, Lord. You are a great God and a great King over all the earth. We lift your voice and we magnify you. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus, right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. I glorify you. I magnify you, Lord Jesus. You are high and lifted up in this place. You are high and lifted up in this place, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you. Just lift your voice this morning for another minute or two and give him praise lord jesus you are worthy we praise you we glorify you lord jesus we magnify you lord jesus hallelujah 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 great are you lord and greatly to be praised great are you lord and greatly to be praised oh you are worthy lord jesus we magnify you Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Worthy, worthy, worthy are you, Lord Jesus. Oh, We praise you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, great are you, Lord Jesus. Great are you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for your presence. I thank you, Jesus, for your anointing in this place right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. You are great and you are greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, you are great and you are greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name this morning. Oh, we bless your name this morning, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Wonderful Lord Jesus. Wonderful Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We bless you this morning. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God Almighty, and we worship you. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallel
hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift your hands and let him touch you right there where you're at. Just lift your hands and let him touch you right there where you're at. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift your hands and let him touch you right there where you're at. Y'all lift your hands. Let Jesus touch you right there where you're at. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you, the presence of God, the anointing of God is in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Spirit of God. You touch your people right now. You touch your people right now, Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. You touch your people right now. By your spirit and by your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right now, the people's lives are being changed. Right now, your anointing is being poured out and changing people. Touching people. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Some of you feel the power of God on you right now. Just let him touch you. Hallelujah, let him touch you right now. I'll preach the word in a few minutes. Right now, the Holy Ghost is touching people. Hallelujah, you feel the power of God on you right now. Just let him touch you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, that's the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this place right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, it's the anointing of the Holy Ghost. La unción del Espíritu Santo. Oh, tocándote ahorita. En el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah, hallelujah, la unción del Espíritu Santo tocándote ahorita en el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah, hallelujah, el fuego del Espíritu Santo tocándote ahorita. The fire of the Holy Ghost touching you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many here feel the power of God on you right now? Just raise your hand and wave it at me. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for some people right here before I preach the word. If you feel the power of God on you right now, I want you to come down to the front. If you feel the power of God, si te sientes el poder del Espíritu Santo sobre ti ahorita, quiero que pases aquí al enfrente y voy a poner manos sobre ti. If you feel the power of the Holy Ghost on you, just come up here to the front and I'm going to lay hands on you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you feel the power of God touching your body right now, just come down here to the front. Just make a line. If y'all could step forward a little bit more. Just come right up to about where I'm at and just make a line right here. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost is just taking over the service. Hallelujah, el Espíritu Santo está tomando control del servicio. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just let him touch you right there where you're at. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. I'm going to start praying for people over here. I don't know if we have any ushers that can just come with me. But thank you, Lord. Just let the Lord touch you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the touch of the Holy Ghost on you right now. Hallelujah. La unción del Espíritu Santo sobre ti ahorita. In the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the Holy Ghost. Oh, la unción del Espíritu Santo sobre ti. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The touch of the Holy Ghost on you. El toque del Espíritu Santo sobre ti ahorita. En el nombre de Jesús. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Señor. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Filled with the Holy Ghost, a fresh touch. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, stir it up in this place. Oh. Oh, stir it up in this house, Lord Jesus. Oh, pour it out, Spirit of God. Derramalo, Espíritu de Dios. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The touch of the Holy Ghost on you. In Jesus' name. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the anointing of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Oh, it's the touch of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, but I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for a miracle. Oh, the Lord tells you to fear not about that thing. Oh, hallelujah. Fear not about that thing. It's like I see you at your house. Something's bothering. Something's causing fear. I just declare no fear. The Lord's working a miracle in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the touch of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, the touch of the Holy Ghost on you. In Jesus' name, the fire of the Holy Ghost, el fuego del Espíritu Santo sobre ti. In the name of Jesus, oh, stir him up, Holy Ghost. Oh, stir up this place. Oh, stir up the fire here in Lockhart, Texas. Oh, agita el fuego aquí in Lockhart, Texas. Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stir it up on the inside of you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. La unción de Dios. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The anointing of God right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, pour it out. Oh, pour it out, Spirit of God, in this house. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is answering your heart cry. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for revival. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you too. El fuego del Espíritu Santo sobre ustedes. Oh, Baca Brancara, in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, by the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. By the Holy Ghost. Oh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord, for breakthrough. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mas. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In el nombre de Jesús. Mas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the touch of the Holy Ghost on you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bakabra kaba sindedeya. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the touch of the Holy Ghost on this lady right now. El fuego del Espíritu Santo. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stir it up, Spirit of God. Stir it up, Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Stir it up, Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, more. Oh, the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Never the same in Jesus' name. Never the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Never the same in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let him touch you right now. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, the touch of the Holy Ghost on you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the touch of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, you will see more glory. Oh, than you've ever seen. Verás más gloria de Dios que nunca antes. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The touch of the Holy Ghost on you right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. El fuego del Espíritu Santo. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory.
glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The touch of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost on you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, the fire of the Holy Ghost on you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Never the same. Never the same. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Never the same. Oh, hallelujah. 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 El fuego del Espíritu Santo. Hallelujah, hallelujah, en el nombre de Jesús. Oh, en el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah, hallelujah, el toque del Espíritu Santo sobre ti ahorita. En el nombre de Jesús. Gracias Dios. Gracias Dios. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Is there anybody else that wanted prayer? Okay. And you? Yeah, come on. Come up here. Just raise your hands. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Touch him, Holy Ghost, right now. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the power of the Holy Ghost on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Oh, the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, stir it up. Oh, the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Never the same. Never the same. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Oh, the Lord wants to use you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, give it all to him. Oh, holding nothing back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the touch of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. El toque del Espíritu Santo. Hallelujah. Sobre ellos. Gracias, Señor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. On this couple right now in Jesus name. Oh hallelujah. 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 Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Oh I thank you Lord. Oh Rabbah of a financial increase coming to them. Increase coming to them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I think that's aumentación in Spanish, right? Increase. Aumentación. In the name of Jesus. In el nombre de Jesús. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. 
Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more time, everybody, just lift your hands and just thank God for his presence in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Ramamama. I thank you, Lord, for sending mighty revival to Lockhart, Texas. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you the, the glory of God's in this place right now. La gloria de Dios está en este lugar ahorita. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Dale unos minutos más. Just give him a few more minutes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Rabaka Prishen Kamromo Momomo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you need healing in your body, si necesitas sanidad en tu cuerpo, this is what I want you to do. I want you to place your hand on the part of your body that needs the healing. If it's your knees or your shoulder, place your hand on your shoulder. Esto es lo que quiero que hagas, es pon, que, que ponga la mano sobre la parte del, de tu cuerpo que necesita la sanidad. Si sea el, el hombro, se, se pone el, la mano allí o la rodilla, se pone la mano allí. Hallelujah, y voy a orar para todos. I'm going to pray for everybody right now. I thank you, Lord Jesus, right here in your presence and in your glory for healing people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, por san, sanando la gente ahorita en tu gloria. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I take authority over every spirit of infirmity. Yo tomo autoridad sobre, sobre cada espíritu de enfermedad. And I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. You get out of it, every body, every person's body. You get out of every household in the name of Jesus. Fuera en el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. And I take authority over all sickness and disease and pain and injuries that have taken place. And I command you to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I take authority. Yo tomo autoridad sobre cada dolencia y enfermedad. Y yo declaro que sea sana ahorita en el nombre de Jesús. Sano en el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gracias Dios. Gracias Dios. En el nombre de Jesús, gracias Dios. Hallelujah por tu poder de sanar. Hallelujah, right now, ahorita en el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, now just lift your hands and praise God for healing your body right now. Levanta las manos y dale alabanza por sanarte ahorita. Hallelujah, dale gracias por sanarte. Give him thanks for healing you right now. Praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Te alabamos, Dios. Hallelujah, por tu sanidad. Te alabamos, Dios. Hallelujah, te glorificamos, Señor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for healing people. I thank you, Lord, that people have just been healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now the, the next thing that I want you to do is check your body. Begin to do something that you couldn't do. La, 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 la otra cosa es checa su cuerpo. Empieza a hacer algo que no, no podías hacer antes. Mueve la rodilla o lo, lo que sea. Just begin to move something, do something you couldn't do. And check your body and look for the healing. Busca la sanidad. Look for the healing right now. Busca la sanidad. Thank you, Jesus, for healing people this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for healing people this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, how many people, your body has changed? You received a healing. Just wave your hand at me. <clears throat> like you've, your, your body has changed. Like you're, you've received manifest healing. Raise your hand and wave it at me. Thank you, Jesus. What happened over here? Well, your shoulder was healed. Your shoulder was in pain this whole time. Hallelujah. And, and you, sir? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Recibiste sanidad? Hallelujah. And, and who else had their hand up? Just, just tell me what happened. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Your jaw was healed. Hallelujah. And who else? Your shoulder was healed. Hallelujah. Hall your wrist? Arthritis. And, when, and as the pain is gone, the stiffness is gone? It's gone. Hallelujah. Arthritis was healed right there. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, who else? Anybody else was healed? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Your knees. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Just one more thing. Everybody close your eyes right now. If there's anybody in this place that if, if you were to die today, and you don't know for sure that you would go straight to heaven. If, the, if today was your last day and you don't know for sure that you would go straight to heaven, then I want to pray with you and pray for you. There's nothing more important. You may have been coming to church for a while, but... You're sitting there and you say, David, I don't know for sure that I would go to heaven. No, yo no sé en seguro que me vaya al cielo si me, si me muero hoy. Yo no sé en seguro que me voy a ir al cielo. Necesitas saber en seguro que te vas a ir al cielo. And there's another group of people here. You may say, David, I, I know that I'm going to heaven, but I know that my, my heart is just not right with God. Things are not right in my life with Jesus. And it's time for me to commit my life completely to Jesus. Amen. There's a two categories of people. Number one, you don't know for sure that you're going to heaven. If you were to die today, you don't know for sure that you would go to heaven. The second category of person, you feel like you know you're going to heaven, but your heart's not right with God. And you need to give everything to Jesus today. You've been holding back. You've been in and out of church. And sin has crept in your life, and it's time to surrender everything to Jesus today. And I want to pray with you. On the count of three, I'm in, the, in a minute, I'm just going to ask you to raise your hands. I'm going to count to three, uh, and I'm going to ask you to raise your hands. And God's going to change your life. So if you're in this place, and, and God's speaking to your heart right now, and you know that's you, and you've got to make a change and come to Jesus for the first time, or maybe rededicate your life, then it's time to make a change right now. The Lord has stopped this service and He's calling out to you to surrender everything to Him. If there's just one person, then I'm going to hold up the service right now for just one person. But on the count of three, si no saben seguro que te vas a ir al cielo para estar con el Señor, si no sabes en seguro que, que eres salvo por la sangre de Jesucristo, yo quiero orar con usted. In the name of Jesus. God's speaking to your heart right now. He's manifested His glory. He's healed people. Now He's calling you to Him. He's calling you to surrender everything to Jesus and hold nothing back. If that's you, number one, you don't know for sure that you're going to heaven. That's the number one category. Or number two, you say, David, I, I know that I'm going to heaven, but I know my heart is just not right with God. If you're one of those two people right now, on the count of three, I just want you to raise your hand and throw it up in the air. And I'm gonna, I want to pray with you and pray for you. One, two, three. If that's you, just raise your hand and wave it at me. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for that hand back there, sir. Thank you. If there's anybody else, God's speaking to your heart. Just raise your hand and wave it at me so I know that that's you. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, even for one or two or three, if there's anybody else. God's speaking to your heart right now. And it's time to get things right with Jesus. And you don't know for sure. Raise your hand and wave it at me right now. If you haven't already done that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to ask this gentleman back here that raised your hand. Just come on down to the front. Y'all give him a hand clap this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You feel healed of the cancer? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to get a good report. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What's your name? Richard. Richard. Amen. Just pray this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. And everybody pray with us this morning. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come to you right now. And I believe. You died on the cross for me. And that you rose from the dead. So come into my heart right now. And be my Lord and Savior. Let me never be the same. In Jesus' name. I give you everything. And I am saved. And going to heaven. I thank you Jesus. For saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Come on, y'all. Praise God this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. And for that healing. Amen. Amen. Well, amen. You can grab your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there ought to be, go, there ought to be more going on in the church on Sunday morning than there is in any bar on Friday night. Amen. Amen. Well, somebody say, I've never seen been to a church service like this, or maybe you have. But you know what? You ought to, be to, you ought to, you ought to go to church services where Jesus is in total control. You ought to see all the things that happens. People get raised from the dead. Amen. Blind eyes open. Amen. People get touched by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, this is the way here at Vision Church. This is the way that it's a Holy Ghost church here. Amen full of the glory of God? Well, the church down the road does it different. It doesn't matter how a church down the road does it. It matters how Jesus does church. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this is why people in the world today don't know if they're a man or a woman or a boy or a girl anymore because the body of Christ has backed off so much from the power of the Holy Ghost because we're trying to please everybody. Amen. Man, we got to have the power of the Holy Ghost. We got to have the power of the Spirit of God here in our services. Let the Spirit of God do whatever He wants to do. Amen. Man, the church, we have got to get hungry for God. Amen. We have got to get hungry for God. Like the woman with the issue of blood. How many of you know that story? Mark chapter 5, the woman with the issue of blood. How she pressed in to get a touch on the hem of Jesus' garment. Man, we have got to be hungry for God. Amen. Our hunger level needs to equal what God is about to do. You know, hunger for God is not to, we're not to be hungry for what He's done in the past as much as we need to be hungry for what He is about to do. God has something more. God has something greater. You know, that's, that's one of the problems with the body of Christ is God does a move 20 years ago and we're looking backwards in the rear view mirror saying, God, if you'll just do that again, it'd be so great and glorious. Lord, if you'll just bring back the healing revival. But I'm telling you, God's got something ahead of us. God's got something that he's releasing right now that is so good and so glorious. He needs us to get our eyes on that and get our focus and our hunger set on that so that he can start to do what he needs to do right now here in the United States of America. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, God's got some great things taking place. You know, in 2020, in March, when COVID and all this shutdown and the quarantine started to happen, I couldn't believe what was taking place in our nation. I, I could not believe. 
I couldn't believe politically what was happening. I couldn't believe spiritually what was happening. I couldn't believe physically with, the, with COVID. And I know it was some, it's so unfortunate, some people that passed away from COVID. But then the, the politics behind all of that and everything and the, them shutting the churches down and everything that took place, I could not believe what took place in our nation. And you know, the, the, the body of Christ, sometimes we pray prayers that push a certain expectation on God. Like, God, you're going to have to do this. Lord, you've got to do this right now. But you know what? <clears throat> if you're in a fight with somebody, has anybody in here ever been in a fist fight or is everybody here just too, too squeaky clean? If you're in a fight with somebody and you punch them as hard as you can, and they just stand there like that, and then they smile, you know you're in trouble. You know what I'm talking about? If you punch somebody as hard as you can in the face, and they just, they, it doesn't even make a move, they just kind of, the head just kind of knocks back, and they look at you and start to smile, you know you're dead. As you know, that's what Jesus is doing right now. The devil has thrown everything he has against the church. And he has brought the attack to the United States of America because the devil knows if he can take the United States of America down, that he can basically control the world. You know, that's just the truth. Uh, there's a saying that says that when America sneezes, the world catches a cold. And that's the truth. If the devil can take the United States out, if the devil can get, let an antichrist spirit run rampant here in the United States, then he can just basically take the world out. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the absolute truth. And God, we, we, we push prayer onto God sometimes with the expectation of, God, you've got to do it this way. You've got to turn things around in, in the White House. Or you've got to, Lord, you've got to stop this COVID. You've got to, you've got to turn things around in the world. And we, we push over the last few years. It's like we can push prayer on God and the expectation on God and how he's got to respond to what the devil has done. But I'm telling you, if you've noticed... Jesus has just been standing here like this the whole time. Amen. He hasn't been moved by what the devil's done. The devil's thrown his best shot here in these end times, and Jesus has not even moved. He's not even threatened, as a matter of fact. He's just standing there like, boom, like that, and he's just looking the devil right in the eye and just smile and laugh. And you know what? The devil's more afraid now than he was before COVID and the shutdown. The devil's more afraid than he's ever been because he knows all of the stuff that he's tried to do to attack the church, to attack the United States has not worked. Praise God. And God's not moved by all of that stuff. Earlier this year, we, we finished up a one-month revival. We did, uh, we did uh, basically held a revival in Lufkin, Texas for uh, the, the entire month of January. And in the, at the end of December, before we went over to Lufkin, I was in my office praying. And I had a, a worship CD a praise and worship CD playing by a guy named Johnny Macon. And uh, some of the songs on there just so anointed. And I got caught up in the presence of God while I was working. And my wife Riley was coming in and out of the office. And I just got caught up in the glory of God. And then I'm, I'm just gone. I'm just, I got caught up in the presence of God. And the Lord begins to reveal to me. He gave me a vision uh, that had several things in it. But one of the things that he showed me so clearly is that in regards to COVID and all of the stuff around the world and, you know, over in China, I don't know if this is still the case, but in Shanghai, China for a while, and they might still be on lockdown, they had everybody in Shanghai locked down in their apartments and they couldn't leave. And they're just basically shoving people rations under the door. I mean, basically turned everybody's house into a prison and they won't let them leave. I mean, so there's some really bad stuff going on. And uh, all these things that have taken place across the world, it's like, Lord, what is going on? And in, in, in the natural, it almost looks like the devil is winning. And I wasn't really seeking God about this at this moment in my office when the glory of God came, but he showed me that in regards to all of this stuff, that God has not even made his move yet. Because we, we pray, like, God, you've got to do this, and you've got to do this, and God's going to answer the prayer. He is going to, but maybe not the way we thought, maybe not in the timing that we thought, and maybe not how we thought, but God is going to answer things. He is going to turn everything around. And I'm telling you, revival is coming to the United States of America in such a way that it will overshadow every revival that has ever happened in this nation before. 
the first great awakening, the second great awakening, Azusa Street, the Voice of Healing revival, everything that God's ever done in this nation is going to be pale in comparison to what He is about to do. Hallelujah. But God is not moved by what the devil has done. God is not, God's revival and the glory that He pours out is not a response to the devil. Actually, what happened is, is that COVID and all this attack that the devil has thrown is the devil's response to what God has already started in the realm of the Spirit. Come on, somebody. Praise God right now. You see, we look in the realm of the natural like, God, you've got to respond to what the devil's done. God never responds to what the devil's done. Because if he did, then the devil would be leading God. But the truth of the matter is that COVID, the quarantine, and all the stuff that has taken place is actually Satan responding to what God has already started in the realm of the Spirit. The devil got so scared that he's thrown his best shot. If you look in the natural, it looks like God hasn't done anything yet. But if you're attuned to the Spirit of God, if you know the anointing of the Spirit of God, then you know that God's been up to something powerful and that it's going to get so much greater that it's going to make everything the devil's done just totally disappear in our rearview mirror. People are going to Forget about all the stuff that's gone on because of the glory of God that's coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's just like when Moses was born and when Jesus was born. Pharaoh and Herod started killing all of the babies. Now, if you're only looking in the realm of the natural, it looks like the devil is doing everything because oh it's just a little baby named Moses oh it's just a little baby named Jesus born in a manger that's not a big deal but look at what the devil's doing the devil's killing all of the babies the devil's killing all of the children it looks like that the devil is doing everything it looks like the devil has thrown the first punch but the reality is is that Satan is only doing that because he's so afraid because he used to be the anointed cherub Satan used to be the anointed cherub that was over worship before he got thrown out of heaven like lightning and he so he knows the anointing and there's something that took place when Moses was born there's something that took place when Mary got pregnant with Jesus and Jesus was born that had the anointing on it that got Satan so afraid that he started attacking in the realm of the natural and doing all of these tremendous, all these hor- horrific things in the realm of the natural. And if you're only looking in the realm of the natural, it would look like that the devil is doing everything. It would look like that the devil is winning the fight. That's if you're only looking in the realm of the natural. But I'm telling you this morning that every single one of you that have known the anointing, that have known the power of the Spirit of God, that have known that God is up to something that revival is coming in the nation that you are right God is not going to fail God is not going to back off of revival God has not pulled back hallelujah thank you Jesus the the shutdown and the quarantine and the disease and all of those things was not God failing to do it it was not you having missed God it was simply the devil trying to stop what God has already started and I'm here to tell you this morning that Satan has failed yet again hallelujah God has not missed out God has not slipped up God has not failed hallelujah and God hasn't even made his move yet. The devil's just doing all this stuff in the realm of the natural. And it's just Jesus just standing there taking a punch. No big deal. The body of Christ is just standing there. We take a punch. No big deal. Keep standing. Don't move. Keep standing where you're at. And don't move. I'm telling you, some, I'm not an older saint. I'm only 45. But I feel like I'm an older saint because I have... Studied all the revivals, you know, First Great Awakening, Second Great Awakening, Azusa Street, the Voice of Healing revival. In the early 90s, there's Holy Ghost and Fire revival that came all over the United States of America. In 93, I got touched by revival, touched by the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I've been preaching ever since, and since 93. And I'm a, I'm a Holy Ghost, I'm a Book of Acts revival guy all the way. Because I know that's the answer. But if those, those of you that have been touched by that over the years and you're like God where is it what is going on what is going on with all the all the religion in the United States of America it's just like man we can have any churches turned into anything 
that you can think of, but there's no power inside. It's like Paul told Timothy, I think it's 2 Timothy 3, 5. That Paul said that there's a form of godliness that denies the power. It's like, what in the world has been going on in the United States of America the last 20 years where we have these gigantic churches that's a big form of godliness, but they deny the power of God. There's no power in those places. Homosexuality is allowed. Now, you know, if there's somebody that comes in the doors that's a homosexual, come on in because we're going to pray for you. And God, by the blood of Jesus, is going to set you free. Hallelujah. So everybody's welcome to come in, but you're come as you are, but you ain't going out that door as you are. You're going to get changed by the power of the Holy Ghost in this place. Hallelujah. So, uh, you know, but I'm talking about places that have welcomed the sin and said that the sin is okay. I'm telling you, I, I travel a lot. I know what I'm talking about. And I, it's like, God, what is going on? It's a form of godliness that has denied the power. But I'm telling you, God has the fire of the Holy Ghost. He has people like you and me that are full of the fire of the Holy Ghost that are not going to back down and that he's just stirring things up on the inside. So I'm here just to be like a Holy Ghost cheerleader for you this morning to say you're on the right track. Don't give up. Don't back down on what God has told you to do. Press forward with the, for the prize of the mark of the high calling as the Apostle Paul said because God's got great things lying right ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God for that this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now turn with me to 1 Kings chapter 19. Hallelujah. And I'm going to preach for about five hours. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Thank you, Jesus. 1 Kings 19. Hallelujah. And I'm going to talk just a few minutes about the transference of anointing. 1 Kings chapter 19. In verse 1, And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and how he had slain the prophets with the sword. In verse 2, Jezebel sent a message to Elijah, saying, So they let the gods do to me more, and also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of those by tomorrow at about this time. In other words, I'm going to behead you, I'm going to kill you. And when Elijah saw or heard the message, he arose and fled for his life and went to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and he left his servant there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take me away, take my life, for I am not better than my father's. And uh, I'll just sum up the rest of this passage here. The Lord tells him to go to Mount Horeb, which is the Mount of God. If you, as you study the Old Testament, you see there's Mount Zion, Mount Horeb, Mount Sinai. It's all the same mountain called by different names. And it was known as the Mountain of God. It's where Moses went up and got the Ten Commandments, where Moses originally saw God and the glory of God came down. And so that was a sacred place. It was an important place. So Elijah basically here, you've got to understand the entire story. Elijah was dealing with King Ahab and Jezebel and the kingdom of Israel because Jezebel had taken all of the prophets of God and cast them out of Israel, uh, probably killed some, but basically put them all into exile. So the prophets of God, the priests of God, were no longer allowed in Israel. And now she had exalted the prophets of Baal. So this was a a, a total abomination going on in Israel. And you got to understand that this Israel was a type and a shadow of the church today. You know, sometimes we read this about Israel as if it was the enemy kingdom, like, oh, that was Babylon. But no, this was Israel. These were the good guys. This is what the church is supposed to be. So what has taken place here in 1 Kings chapter 17 and 18 was that the prophets of Baal had been exalted in Israel and Jezebel had cast out all the prophets of God and they were in exile and in hiding. And so in this situation, Elijah shows up and God begins to bring judgment. And you may know the story, I'm sure you do, but Elijah goes up to King Ahab in 1 Kings 17 verse 1 and he says, Thus says the Lord, according to my word, there will not be dew nor rain these years. 
except according to my word. And then he leaves. And King Ahab just kind of probably laughed at Elijah because he didn't know who he was, didn't care. Uh, Who cares what this prophet has to say? But after about six months, 12 months, 18 months, there's no rain. And now the entire land is in famine and they're losing everything. They're, They're in economic downfall and they're in serious problems there going on in Israel. So now Ahab is trying to find the prophet of God and he actually puts out a manhunt for people to go find Elijah. And then he put everybody in the nation that, under a threat that if they saw Elijah and didn't tell King Ahab, that he would come and kill them. So if anybody knew Elijah, where he was, or saw him, and they didn't go tell the king, the king was going to come and kill him. So now King Ahab and, king, and Obadiah, his friend, are literally walking. The king himself is walking all over Israel trying to find uh, the prophet Elijah. And then the word of the Lord comes to Elijah and tells him to go back And just to summarize the story, he challenges the prophets of Baal to a duel by fire. And he says, the God who answers by fire, let him be God. And it's very interesting that as he does this, that he's talking, he has the children of Israel, all the people of Israel there, which would be the body of Christ, the church. And he says, how long are you going to halt between two opinions? How long are you going to go between Baal and between God? If Baal is God, then just serve Baal. If Jesus is God or the prophets of God, if God is is the true God, that Jehovah's God, then serve him. But how long are you going to halt between two opinions? This is the message that Elijah brought to the church. This was the church that he was talking to. Hallelujah. And so he issues this this challenge to the prophets of Baal and he has them erect up an altar and they have to build up an altar and do their sacrifices and he says, the God that answers by fire, let him be God. And so they do all this stuff and for the entire afternoon and down into the evening, Elijah is mocking them and he's saying, maybe your God's asleep, just making fun of them, ridiculing them and their, their gods and nothing happened. And then Elijah has his turn. And he builds up the altar, pours water over the whole thing. Then the fire of God comes down over the altar and consumes everything, uh, consumes all the water that was in the trenches around. And then he turns to all the prophets of Baal and with his own hands. I mean, this would be be an R-rated movie if you were to make a movie out of this part. With his own hands, he goes and kills all the prophets of Baal. Now, Elijah would have been a sight. If you can imagine, after, I don't know how many prophets there were, a hundred or something, a few hundred. With his own hands, he goes and kills all the prophets of Baal. And so the, Elijah's covered with the blood of, of, these, of, these prophet, of these Baal prophets. And then he turns around and then the rain comes. He goes and begins to pray. And then the rain finally comes back after several years. So Jezebel, after this great feat that Elijah had accomplished, this great revival that had just taken place, so to speak, Jezebel issues this command that she's going to come and kill Elijah. And something really interesting happens here. Elijah actually gets scared. After everything that he had just done, why in the world would Elijah be scared? Why in the world would this man of God that has just accomplished the greatest turnaround in Israel be afraid of Jezebel and be running from her and then actually tell the Lord, God, it's enough. I am not better than my father's. It was like he, he felt so degraded. But there was something that was actually taking place in the life of Elijah. Please hear me out. There was something that was taking place in the ministry of Elijah that was so important. And if we miss this, then we fail. If we miss, you see, Elijah... The prophets of Baal were were no big deal. Bringing the rain. He prayed earnestly that there would be no rain. And James. He prophesied there would be no rain. But not only did he prophesy there would be no rain. He went and prayed earnestly until there. and, And made sure there was no rain. And then he prayed earnestly that the rain would come back. He did all these great things. But then here at the end. After all that took place. Just one lady is making him run scared. Why? It's because the anointing was about to be transferred. There was a transference of anointing from Elijah, what would be like the older generation, going to the younger generation. And Elijah sensed something was changing. There was something that was taking place in his life. And he was afraid of Jezebel But the biggest thing is, is that the transference of anointing that was about to take place was what the devil was actually after. The devil wasn't actually after Elijah. 
It's just the devil doesn't, you know what? The devil's really not afraid of you by yourself. Well, you ought to see all the business I can do, the devil. You know, the business is great. So tithe and give into the gospel with a big business. But you want to know what the devil's really afraid of? He's afraid of the anointing. The, the devil, you want to get the devil deathly afraid, then get anointed. And you know what? If you're not getting attacked by the devil ever, it's probably because you ain't got any anointing on your life. You want to you you get rid of the attack of the devil? Get rid of the anointing. Back off the anointing, ain't going to be any attack of the devil coming against you. I've had preachers talk to me about that kind of thing. But they just back off. Of, I don't want to get into all of that. But the anointing was what was, it was all about. Elijah was about to transfer the anointing. When you read through the rest of 1 Kings chapter 19, where I just started, Elijah was about to transfer the anointing from him over to Elisha, who was going to work twice the amount of miracles that Elijah did. And not only was Elijah going to transfer the anointing over to Elisha, he was also going to anoint Jehu to be the next king of Israel, and he was also going to anoint Haziel to be the next king of Syria. So there were three things that Elijah was called to do. And he was running from God. And there's just something about the devil. that He's, he's the stupidest being of all time because he rebelled against Jesus. And he's going to be in the lake of fire for all eternity. That's as dumb as it gets. But there's something about the devil that is at least smart enough to be able to, to discern the anointing in the realm of the spirit. And the devil saw that Elijah was about to triple the anointing of God from his life over to all of these, over to Elisha and especially Jehu. And the devil was afraid of it. And right now I sense the same thing. That there is a generation of young people here in the United States of America that they don't know the anointing. They don't know the power of God. They're being raised up in dead religious churches that have smoke machines and light scenes and all this garbage going on and from one Sunday to the next, from one year to the next, there's never any manifestation of the power of the Holy Ghost. Nobody ever gets healed. Nobody ever gets delivered. The Holy Ghost is not Lord in those services and we're raising up a generation right now that does not know the power of the Holy Ghost. They do not know the power of God and they do not know the delivering power of the, and then the touch of the fire of the Holy Ghost. And the devil wants to stop the anointing from being transferred. You know, I'm not saying that I'm quitting my ministry. That's not going to happen or anybody here. But being transferred and being released from those of us that have the anointing and the fire of the Holy Ghost. The devil wants to stop that from being transferred from you over on to the younger generation. We're, we're among teens and 20s right now. Where are the teens and 20s right now that are full of the fire of the Holy Ghost? That know how to go out and preach the gospel to the lost and the unsaved? That know how to lay hands on the sick and see them recover? We've got to see that take place in our generation. I'm telling you right now, church, the devil is trying to stop the anointing from being transferred from one generation into the teens and the 20s right now. And if he can do that, then we will have failed. But we have got to fight the fight of faith for our young people and see that get transferred and pass the baton over to them because the devil knows that if he can stop that transfer it doesn't matter about all the things that God's done up until this point if the devil can stop the next generation from understanding the anointing and understanding the power of the Holy Ghost and keep them from wielding the sword of the spirit then the devil can take this nation the devil is after the anointing the devil is after the power of the spirit of God being transferred from us over onto our young people the transfer of the anointing is so important and that's what was taking place here with Elijah. That's why he was under so much attack. That's why after he killed all the prophets of Baal and all, of the, all the glory that had just taken place, he brought the rain and all of this big stuff. You would think that he would be unstoppable, that nobody could touch him. But even after all of that, he, was still, he still ran from Jezebel because the devil's attack against him was so great. Because the devil was afraid of the next big assignment that Elijah had, which is what God gave to him in 1 Kings 19. So back up to where I, where I read in 1 Kings 19, Elijah ran. He was in Beersheba. He actually ran from God, and the Lord finds him. And he's basically starving himself to death. He wasn't eating. He wasn't fasting. He just wasn't eating. So the Lord literally made him some bread and something and gave it to him and said, eat. And he said, now eat and go up to Mount Horeb. Go up to the prayer place. Go up to the place of prayer. How many here this morning, you have a place of prayer? You need, everybody in this room, 
you need to have a physical place of prayer where you go. That's your place of prayer that you can get away and you can pray as long as you need to until the job gets done. Mount Horeb was that place. It was his prayer closet. The Lord said, go. And he was 40 days journey as far as walking. And so Elijah went 40 days. He ate that bread, that loaf of bread or whatever it was. And for, he didn't eat anything else, but that was enough for 40 days. And he went to Mount Horeb and he's waiting on Mount Horeb. And God begins to give him his, his assignment. And there's so much other good preaching that, that I could get into there. But his next big assignment, the Lord said, Elijah basically was complaining to God. He said, I've been faithful. <clears throat> I've done this, and I even, I alone am left, and there's nobody else left that fears you. I'm the only one left, and now they're trying to kill me. And two or three times, Elijah just complains to God, just complains to God. And he's, God, take my life. I'm afraid, and I can't do this. And he's complaining to God. And finally, the Lord is dealing with Elijah, and he just gives him his next assignment. That's what the devil is after. The devil is trying to stop the anointing from being transferred to the next generation because that was Elijah's next assignment. Elijah's assignment, you can read it right there in 1 Kings 19. The Lord says, you're going to go anoint Elisha to be prophet in your stead, which Elijah actually did do that. And he said, you go anoint Jehu to be king over Israel and Haziel to be king over Syria. You know, sometimes we just don't get it right, you know, but uh, Elijah only obeyed God on one of those. You can read it there. He only went and anointed Elisha. I guess Elijah was just done. He was like, forget Jehu, forget Haziel. I don't care. I'm done with the ministry. I mean, sometimes the ministry will push you to that point. I'm just done. I want to quit and get me out of here. I'm done. And Elijah just didn't do, he just didn't do it with Jehu and Haziel. But he did go anoint Elisha. And that was enough. And Elisha, as Elisha was raised up, you can read it, I think it's 1 Kings chapter 8 and chapter 9, that Elisha got the same direction from God to go anoint Jehu. And then Jehu went and he killed Jezebel. Finally, the woman's dead. (laughs) That's a whole other message. But the transference of anointing, the devil is after the anointing from being transferred over to the next generation. The biggest attack against Elijah and all the miracles, man, this tough man of God, just covered with the blood of, of all these prophets of Baal that he killed. But just one lady issued a threat. But really, it was, this, it was Satan behind the threat that got Elijah so afraid. Because the devil was after the anointing. The devil did not want the anointing and the fire of the Holy Ghost to be transferred onto the next generation. And I'm telling you this morning, whatever takes place, we've got to make sure that our young people, that the next generation of preachers, that they're not raised up under a method that is a form of godliness that denies the power, but that they know the power of the Holy Ghost, that they know how to lay hands on the sick and see them recover, that they know how to cast a devil out, that they've been touched by the fire of the Spirit of God from the book of Acts. This next generation has got to have the touch of the anointing of God on them, regardless of what it takes for Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God in this place this morning. Hallelujah. So that's what the devil's after. That's what the devil's after here in the United States. He's after the anointing. He wants the church to back off of the anointing. He wants us to back off the power. Because he knows if he can get us to compromise the anointing. The devil knows if he can get us to trade a form of godliness. Oh, it looks so good. And look, all the stuff is, our sanctuary is the best. It's all the stuff that looks good in the realm of the natural, but it denies the power. The devil knows if he can get us to that point where the power of God's been denied. Then the devil can take this nation. The devil can take this city. This city, he can take this town. But we have got to get a hold of the anointing. Whatever you do this morning, get hungry for God. Get hungry for God to do a greater work in your life. Don't yield to a religious spirit and think, oh, that's just old school. Oh, the fire of God, that's just old school. That's just what old Pentecostals do. No, it's not. It's been eternal, and it's never going to go away. Get hungry for God. Stir up the fire of God. Stir up hunger on the inside of you. Do not settle for less. Do not settle for a form of godliness. 
Do not settle for that trade. Because as the word says, it's a form of godliness that denies the power. When we take on a form of godliness, there's a trade that takes place. Anybody here in business? I've been in business. We've got side businesses. And in business, in negotiation, you, one thing you know, if you know how to negotiate, negotiation is always a trade. If somebody just wants you to knock the price down, you don't just say yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know, sell your house to me for 10% less. Okay. No, you just don't knock the price down. You trade something. Okay, if you want a price discount, then I want this. You've got to trade. That's the way it is. There's always a trade. That's the way there's a trade with a form of godliness. Oh, the form of godliness is so pretty. It's so easy. There's no fight of faith. You can just do this and, yeah, you know what? We can go to, the form of godliness allows me to go to church for just one hour and 15 minutes on a, on a Sunday. And if I want to sleep with the wrong person, then I'm okay. There's no problem with that. If I want to, if I want to live a homosexual life, then I'm, I can do that in the form of godliness. Or if I want to drink and smoke whatever I want, I have to have the fire of the Holy Ghost in my life. It's all okay in the form of godliness. We can just do whatever we want because everybody supposedly loves each other. No, that's not a form of, that's not godliness. It's a form of godliness. And the thing is, the trade is, is that the power has been denied. The devil's trying to get this generation to trade the power, to trade the anointing. And so then when the next generation of teens and 20s gets raised up, there ain't no anointing, there ain't no power in it. And the devil can just take the nation over just like that and shut us down. That's right. I'm preaching the truth this morning. I'll tell you one thing with our church, Revival City Church, I don't care what happens. If anybody's dumb enough to try to tell me to shut our church down, they're going to arrest me because I'm going to be there Sunday morning preaching the gospel. And we live stream and everything. You're, yeah, everybody will see on live stream, a live, live feed of Pastor David King getting thrown in jail because I ain't shutting the church down. You can forget it. It's not going to happen. I'm not changing. I'm not compromising. I'm not trading anything for a form of godliness. Oh, it would be so much easier. I knew a pastor down, in, and he's still pastor, and I check on him every once in a while. Uh, down in Corpus Christi, um, Pastor Isaiah, Isais, and I, I don't remember his last name off the top of my head. I haven't been there in over 10 years, but we preached a Sunday morning at his church, and it was just a Holy Ghost Book of Acts church, and we went to eat lunch afterwards. I think we're at Chili's or something, and he was like, and he told me that several pastors, friends of his in town were telling him, like, Pastor Isaiah, why are you working so hard? You know, why are you trying to push for revival in the move of God? You just need to quit that. Just go and do two or three services on a Sunday morning. Do the little schedule thing that we're doing. And it's so easy in the crowds and all the money. It's so much easier. You just back off. You're working too hard. You know, that's, what, that's, what, that's the reality of what's taking place right now. When it, what, it, what is that? It's trade for the form of godliness. I'll just take this form of godliness. It's working. It's okay. You know what? But it's not, about, it's not about trying to compromise things. It's not about that because then there's no power to set people free. What has taken place is the transference of anointing. That's exactly why the devil was attacking Elijah so much. It wasn't about Elijah. And I'm telling you, that's the problem. That's, it frustrates me so much of why, why preachers will back off of the move of the Spirit of God. Why preachers and people will back off off of revival. The reason they do it is because it's easier for me. Oh, it's so much easier if I do this. But it's not about you. It's about the people that God's called you to reach. And it's about the anointing of God that He has placed on the earth that we are stewards over. It was not about Elijah. Elijah, you noticed all of his complaints in 1 Kings 19 were all about himself. Totally selfish. When a preacher gets selfish, you, there's, a, there's a problem. When a preacher's all, all me, myself, and I, and I've done this, and I've done it doesn't matter about you. The ministry, we don't go into the ministry for our sake. We don't go into ministry for our sake. And the Lord actually rebuked Elijah, and he says, you go, and you go anoint Hazael, you go anoint Jehu, you go anoint Elisha to be prophet in your stead. And he said, on top of that, by the way, Elijah, I've got 7,000 people in Israel that have not bowed their knees to Baal, just so you know. Because Elijah kept telling God, oh, I'm the only one who hasn't bowed my knee. I'm all by myself. 
yourself, and I've done this, and I've done this, and look, at, and I, I, it's totally selfish, but it is not about you. It's not about the preacher. And if you, we've got to have an understanding. It's about the anointing of God. You have got to value the anointing of God higher than anything else in your life, higher than yourself. And when you do, God can use you to reach this nation. God can use you to reach your, your family and your household. Don't trade the anointing for anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Man, that's some good preaching this morning. Hallelujah. The devil's trying to get us to trade. The devil's trying to offer a trade for the anointing. And God's trying to get the church to transfer the anointing. The devil's offering a trade. So this next generation doesn't get the anointing. The devil, devil's offering a trade, but God's wanting us to transfer the anointing. There can be no compromise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you stand up on your feet this morning? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just give Him praise for about 60 seconds right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for a fresh anointing in this house. I thank you, Lord, for a fresh touch of the, of the book of Acts, fire of the Holy Ghost in this house, in Jesus' name. Oh, I thank you, Lord, for revival in Lockhart, Texas, starting right here in Vision Church, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost burning in this place. I thank you, Lord, for increase, increase numerically, increase financially, increase in the anointing in the name of Jesus. Oh, and I thank you, Lord, for the transference of anointing. I thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I thank you, Lord, for Roba kabra kaba sankam rankama sankam randa shinkiri anana. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, for young leaders being raised up in this house, in this church. Oh, Rama, that will carry the fire. Oh, that will carry the torch in Lockhart, Texas, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, that the anointing is transferred into them in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you for it, Lord Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. I'm going to do one more thing and I'll turn it over to, to Pastor, Pastor Jesse this morning. I just I feel the Lord telling me to lay hands on, on your leaders. Just your leaders, uh, your associate pastors, your, your, your leadership team. So if, if they, I don't know who that is, but if, you're, if your leaders and your workers can come forward, I'm just going to lay hands on you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Awesome, awesome. And Pastor Jesse, why don't you come lay, help me lay hands on people. Hallelujah. We'll just both pray for people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we release the anointing into you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, the anointing of God into you in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that's the power of the Holy Ghost on you. Hallelujah. We release the anointing in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, the anointing of God in you and on you, the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. The anointing of the Holy Ghost in you and on you in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost in you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, the anointing of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Great things lie ahead of this servant of God. Hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Great things lie ahead of this servant of God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost on you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost on you. Glory to God. Hallelujah, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Ghost on you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The anointing of the Holy Ghost on you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, praise you, Jesus. La unción del Espíritu Santo sobre ti. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory to God. Anointed. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. On you in the name of Jesus. Right now. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Anointing on these hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh anointing on these hands. Lay hands on the sick and see them recover. In Jesus name. The anointing of the Holy Ghost on you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anointed. Hallelujah, from this day forward. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anointed. In the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Ghost on you. Right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, anointed and equipped in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, the anointing turns you into another man. In the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The anointing, hallelujah on this precious girl right now. Anointed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anointed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing on this precious couple. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Fulfilling every desire of their heart. Hallelujah. (laughs) In the name of Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Oh, answering everything. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Their children are a fruitful vine, as your word says. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That they just eat of the fruit and enjoy. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you open the doors. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah for Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Transition and moving by the Spirit of God. Movings and things taking place. Doors open by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. And I thank you for the strength of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The strength of the Holy Ghost and the yes. joy of the Holy Ghost yes. in the name of Jesus. Thank yes. you, Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Will y'all give God praise this morning? Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We'll turn it over to you guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Pastor King. How many of y'all were blessed today? Amen. Thank you, Lord. That was a good message. I mean, that was awesome. It was encouraging, and it was actually a challenge, <laughs> right? How many of y'all feel challenged? Especially me, because I work with the youth, so I've got my work cut out for. But it's not just youth, it's the children's church, it's parents, everybody has a responsibility to pass on the anointing to our children and to the next generation. So we got to know that, you know, God is able to do all things, Lord, Amen. right? God is good. And we need to be encouraged. And so I hope y'all were encouraged and to remind, you know, I, as I was watching him preach, I was thinking, no wonder he's so skinny. He jumps around and <laughs> hops around at that way. Maybe if I do that more often, I would get skinny too, but... I was like, he's got energy, and that's awesome. But we want to take this minute out just to bless our brother here, our pastor. You know, the Lord reminds us that in his word to tell us to bless those that come, not only our pastors, but those that preach the word, the gospel. And we need to bless him with, a, you know, a gift, a small token of our appreciation for him coming out, taking time in his, his day to come and minister to us and to encourage us. So, you know, we want to do what we can to bless him, and, and he's, got, he's got a ministry himself. And, you know, we need to be able to share of our fruits and give back to him and, and to show him that we love him, we appreciate him, and we want him to be blessed and um, to receive a special offering. So search your heart this morning. Um, make it out to... Um, Harvest Ministry International, or you can put H <laughs> or you can put HMI if you don't want to spell that all out. If you're writing a check, just put HMI, or if you got cash, go ahead and and that works just as good as a check. So, no credit cards or anything like that. But <laughs> or I don't know, maybe you can put a credit card. But so search your heart, pray, ask the Lord what He's leading you to give. Okay. So come on up. Feel free to Amen. give. Here's the basket up here. If you want to just come and give this morning. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Brother, thank you once again, Pastor King, for coming. We appreciate it. We really do. And um, I know we all left with something to be encouraged about, to remember that we do need to continue on and not the enemy get the best of us as, as the Lord leads us through this time. As times get harder and harder, every day the anointing is very important, that we need to make sure we're covered daily with the anointing upon our lives every morning, okay? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Lord. Father, as we pray a blessing over this offering, Father, we pray that you would multiply it, Father, that it would be used for, his, for this kingdom, for his ministry, Lord, to, to move forward, Father, encouraging others, Lord. We pray that his family would lack for nothing, 
that you would give him favor in everything he does, Lord, that you would just open the doors of heaven upon him in his ministry, Lord, as he continues to march on as a soldier for the army of the Lord. And again, Father, we pray that the anointing would continue to cover him every day and everywhere he goes, him and his family. Protect them, watch over them, and just meet every need he may have, Lord. And we just honor you this morning, Father, for such a gift of your presence, the anointing, Father. And again, we give you all the honor and bless this money, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tenemos que darle a la vida con todo, menos con miedo. Amén. Dios es bueno. Y yo sé que sé que sé que sé que su espíritu recibió. Amén. Y cuando vengamos a la iglesia, hoy tenemos que venir a recibir. Yo por eso, mis hermanos, yo les pongo un, un reto a que abran sus, sus oídos y que digan, no sé inglés. Pero el Espíritu Santo me va a llenar. Ese es lo que tenemos que tener en mente siempre nosotros. Amén. Y yo sé que todos los que estamos aquí entendemos inglés. Amén. Pero si queremos ser sucesibles, si queremos ser más que vencedores, tenemos que aprender. Y es un reto que les doy yo, mis hermanos. Amén. No los estoy regañando, nada más le estoy dando un consejo. Amén. Dios es bueno. Vamos a darle un aplauso al Señor. Amén. Gloria a Dios. Uh, Brother King, from Vision Church, uh, we wanted to give you this offering. This is for your church. That over there is for you. <laughs> and this is for your church. And it's from our church to yours. And, and awesome. We'll be praying for you and for your new church. Thank you. We'll put uh, it to work. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, uh, Pastor David, you finish now. I'm next. <laughs> Glory to God. Vamos a ponernos de pie. Padre Santo, una vez más te damos gracias, mi Dios, por la palabra que trajo tu hijo David, Padre Santo. Father God, we give you thank you, Father God, for this word, the one uh, Brother David just brought it, Father God. Now, Father God, open our heart, abre nuestro corazón, Padre bendito, para ponerle en acción. Padre bendito, ahora, Padre Santo, despídenos en paz, Padre Santo. Padre bendito, que donde quiera que vayamos, Padre, nos podamos acordar, mi Dios, de que debemos ser una generación nueva, Padre Santo, que alaben y glorifiquen al Señor, Padre Santo, que la unción, Padre, que tú has depositado en nuestro corazón, que siga adelante, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús, amén y amén. Estamos despedidos, mis hermanos, que Dios me los bendiga y me los cuide y me los guarde, y que todo lo que toque sus manos esta semana, que sea de bendición. Amén, Señor.